Yo guys, what is going on? How's everyone doing today? NT, what is going on? Uh, how are you? I'm doing very, very good. Um, it's always nice seeing you in chat. Like you're, you're always the first person. You're always asking how I am. Um, I'm doing, I'm doing good. Uh, all right. So today at six, we are getting, um, we are getting road to the finals, trailblazers and centauran cards coming back into packs. Uh, for our second day of pre Black Friday, uh, is the loading screen going to show up? Uh, it was showing up a bit earlier. Um, yeah, of course, of course, it doesn't show up this time. <laughs> let me let me back out one more time, see if the loading screen shows up. Not watching the stream today, but playing The Last of Us with my little sister. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, you find that fun. I played the original game. Oh, th there we go. There's the loading screen. Best of campaigns going to be in packs uh, with Thunderstrucks coming out tomorrow, and best of team of the week staying. Uh, yeah, I played. I played Last of Us. Um, I played like. I don't even know how much, like a quarter of the game or a third of the game or half of the game. Definitely didn't finish it, but I, I played it. I don't know why I never finished it, but it was it was decent. Um, all right, today until six, we are finally, after so many weeks, we're finally going to finish this Centauran Craft and upgrades. I think I've got, um, yeah, well, I've got 24 of them. I've got four days to do them. However, I did see that gold commons had gone down in price, so I'll try to get these done as fast as possible. Uh, well, I have content for the next month because I'm saving packs and fodder. That is good to hear. Uh, I have the remastered one. Yeah, I think I, I just have the base one. It was given free with PlayStation Plus like years ago, um, I think. Um, yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I've got the base one. Um, but yeah, that that will be fine. Yeah, have fun, have fun. Uh, all right, let's start buying these gold cards. Hopefully, they haven't gone up anymore. But yeah, they were. Um, they were going for five hundred coins. It looks like they're still going for five hundred. I'm surprised that commons are going down. Um, maybe it's because there's no uh, there's no flash species going on right now. I've got no idea. But you'd think, okay, there's going to be so many upgrade packs. There's going to be so many species. Surely, gold commons go up in price. But yeah, I guess not. Uh, so time to spend pretty much all our coins on these upgrades. Uh, it's free with premium. Oh, that's good. I don't have premium. Um, I've thought about it before. I'm like, look, to play online, um, you need PlayStation Plus. So I'll buy that. And you get the free games um, every month. So I'm like, I'm happy with that. Of course, like there's so many games that I want to play. Uh, there's so many games that I have. Oh, okay. Nice. Got kicked off. Uh, Ultimate Team. Yeah, there's so many games I want to play. But let's be honest, I'm just going to stick with FIFA. Like, that's that's all I play. Like, I... um. I used to be able to play like literally the entire day, just 24 seven, just on the console, not literally 24 seven, but um, yeah, now I, I just can't, I can't spend that much time. Like basically all my time streaming is how much time I spend. And then I'll do like foot champs off streams. Uh, maybe I'll do like some rival off stream, but like all the menu stuff, I don't really do anything off stream. Um, but yeah, I, I, I obviously have been playing Fortnite this season, but apart from that, I don't, I don't spend like as much time as I used to playing games. All right, common cards might even be cheaper. Do you think I can get any for four fifty? That's going to be really good. Um, twenty three SBCs. Obviously, I'm extremely slow at SBCs. I don't think it will take us until we'll content uh for us to finish this. But maybe maybe close to uh close to that. Let me see. Can we get any for four fifty? It's going to be too hard. Let's just do uh five hundred. Yeah, I'm thinking, let's say it takes like, I don't even know, two minutes to get an SVC done, then yeah, you know what, I might <laughs> I might finish doing this when content's out, so that'll be good. Yeah, let's, let's just do the rest of these, I guess. 24 Centurion upgrades. I'll probably have, well, like, if each one of these is 5,500, then I've got 25 to do. That is 100, 130k, around that price, I think. I don't even know my math, so it's not working today. Let's say 130k, I'll be left with like 40k plus some fodder. Uh, that's uh, that's not a huge amount, uh, to be honest. My, my coin balance is very, very low this year. I'm trying, I'm grinding. Um, I'm getting my packs up as much as I can. I'm probably going to be opening foot champ rewards this week. Um, I still, I still need to decide when should I stop opening foot champs and just completely save every single pack. Like I'm still opening the trade all packs right now, and 
I well, I, I need to gain some coins, but like all the untradeables were saving. I think we're on like I don't even know, two hundred and sixty or something. We'll check after I do this pack. Yeah, I can't wait for Team of the Air. You know, the saddest thing will be if I if we reach Team of the Air, I open all those packs and I just don't get anything. Um, I don't know what I'll do if that happens. I guess we'll, we're guaranteed to get like a crazy amount of fodder, right? During that time. So I guess whatever SBCs are out, we can just grind towards that. But still, like, I'll, be, I'll be so, so sad if we don't get one. Literally, just want one. Look, we're, we're still like two and a half months away. And I'm, I'm begging EA for Team of the Air cards. <laughs> well, we haven't even seen what the team is. And I am so desperate to get some Team of the Airs ready. Let's go on the store. We are on... We are on 254 packs. If you take away all the tradable packs, let's say we're on like, I don't even know. I don't think we have 24 packs, but let's just say we're on 230 untradable packs. So in the next two and a half months, how many packs can I save? I feel like I'm not going to have that many. I want to get a thousand uh, before recycling. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's just continue. Once I get one more done, then... We can get another extra pack for completing this 80 times. Where is everyone today? No one's in the stream. It's quite easy buying these common cards. Um, like previous days and even early on today, uh, there was a lot more competition trying to get these for 500. Uh, I think like at some points they've been like 600, 650, even like 700 for a gold common. So yeah, right now it's it's really good. I mentioned this before, look, you have to do this 100 times. You're buying 1,100 players, even spending like 50 coins extra. It's going to make a huge, huge difference. So um, so yeah, it's like spending 500 coins is like the perfect amount. Obviously, well, obviously if I could spend 400, it would be better, but, uh, you know, I'm, I've got the coins to get this done. Uh, it's my, oh my god, I just realized my PlayStation audio is muted. There we go. Forty three minutes till content. I do need to get my qualifiers done still and I need to get a few more rival games for the last few objectives. Uh so yeah, we're gonna have to do quite a bit of gameplay. Like I always say, it's probably just best if I do it off stream the gameplay. Um I don't know why when I'm when I'm doing gameplay on stream, I just one I play so bad, two oh well, I feel like nobody enjoys this game, but I feel like I enjoy the game less when I do it on stream. I don't know what it is. Like, I like obviously showing you how I'm getting along in Foot Champs, but I don't know. And it's, it's more content. It's more like hours of me streaming. But yeah, it's, it's too much. All right, how many do we have left? 18 of these. You know what? Um, everyone's everyone's begging me to do the icon pack. I feel like 
now that I've finished all these SVCs, of course, I, I do want to get more upgrade packs done, like the 81 double that's out right now. I would like try to get as many packs as I can possibly get. Um, you know what? We could even get an icon pack done. I don't know, actually. Like, it, it's a huge waste of coins, but if it's going to be content for you guys, then I guess I could try doing that. But then at the same time, you can argue that the, the content you're in the team of the air is just going to be way more exciting. All right, there we go. Another one of these completed. Can I not buy that? All right. Hey, what's going on, McCann? How you doing? Quiet day today. No one in chat. Did you see what Mondo packed? I did not. What did he what did he end up back in? Is it on Discord? Let's have a look. Yeah, in flex, right. I'm just trying to get these Centauron crafting done. Uh if you haven't got these done, um gold commons are down in price. Let's have a look. 84, 84 plus. Could have been worse, I guess. All right, let's see. I I, I just saw French Striker. Do I want to watch the? Oh my god! All right. <laughs> I I just had to see French and yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Could have been crazy content if he if he decided to share play. Oh, he's here. He's here now. Uh, yeah, McCann just told me. Could have, could have share played it. You know what? Knowing my luck, if you did share play it, you just wouldn't have got him. Um, you know what? Not fair enough. Um, definitely not. Definitely not jealous. Um, <laughs> right. We need to find ways of making coins. Like right now, the club is in the mud, and I, I just want to get as many upgrade packs as I can. Like once I've finished the Centauron crafting, then there's the eighty-one double that I need to get done. Right, and. Just imagine we have like 281 doubles. Like I'm guessing they're going to go for like 7k, which means, um, what's that? Um, 8, what, what did I even say? Yeah, 7k, if I get like 100 of them down, obviously 700k. Um, yeah, I, I can't be spending 700k on upgrade packs. But yeah, I need to, if I had like 5 million coins right now, then I would spend 700k on upgrade packs. This game's so dead, hate the gameplay so much. It's it's just sad. I like I, I wish I could, I, I would love to just speak to an EA employee right now. Like, just speak to someone who's like high up um on in the hierarchy and just ask him, like, like, even if he's not going to change a single thing, just have a conversation with him and say, look, this is what this is what people want. Obviously, you're um, you're going to be you're, you're running a business. You're going to try find ways of earning the most money. But don't you think if gameplay was enjoyable like it used to be, don't you think people would spend more time playing the game and you guys. Oh, my God, I just I bought that card twice, didn't I? Um, don't you think that people will spend more time, which means people will spend more money like it's just, I'd love to just speak to someone from EA and be like, just, just look, there's this problem, there's this problem. It's really weird because, like, there's, there's so many mistakes with EA. Surely they have someone that's like a consumer of the, just, this game and just telling them the errors. Like, surely there's, like, a hardcore consumer of this game that they have that's just, like, grinding out content, that's just playing the game and just gonna point out all these errors like in terms of gameplay and menus and just like advising them okay look you should change this you should change this like even if they're gonna hire a content creator which look, i can see the problems with that 
but hiring someone that's just on this game 20 hours a day just to tell them okay this is the problem with the game please change this and people will enjoy the game but look or literally all they care about is money so that's what they're gonna do if i share played it it would have been in cafe or something <laughs> just had a guy who left at no no arrivals and baffy's too scary I was going to say I don't blame him, but I do blame him. Just this, this community isn't making anything better. Like, I understand, like, there's a big fault with uh, with what EA is doing, but this community doesn't make it better. Like, EA could have the perfect game, and just because of the way the community is, they'll still just be toxic, find the, the most annoying strategies, find the most toxic ways of playing. I don't even know. 71th depth is crazy, can't get in my opponent's half. Sometimes uh players on to me all the time. You know what, look, I, I everyone says this, and look, I'm I'm probably gonna just I, I probably just don't know how to play this game. But I I use 71 depth myself and I don't notice it the other way. Uh, like so many times I'm chasing down the ball and they're just passing around the back, and I'm like, why are my players not running straight, like right up to them? forcing them to like have no other options than to go backwards and even going backwards it's impossible when, when someone's using 71 depth against me I can't even go backwards I can't even pass towards the goal because there's like three players surrounding my player and it's like why is it when I'm defending <laughs> my players can't do that and I don't know I must be doing something wrong right uh, but I, I just don't understand why I can't <laughs> I don't know how to use 71 depth apparently um, maybe it's me just not noticing like the players are doing it and I'm just not noticing but I, I just can't defend like when when people are attacking it's like my my defense is still in their half I've got one defender back and he's just standing still watching the players walk past him and I'm going to be in Fortnite I heard I heard uh, I think he's going to be in the the event, like the the final day of the season, there's going to be an event, and he's going to be like doing something in it. Have to use player lock also because the attack and runs is dreadful. I still do not know how to use player lock. Like I, if I really wanted to sweat out this game and use all these like silly mechanics that people are using to like just play better, I think I can. Like I've done it in the past, but I just can't be bothered. Like I, I, I wasn't going to buy FC twenty four. And I know it's just going to sound like everyone else. Oh, I'm not going to buy the next game. But I truly can't see myself buying FC 25. Like I've already bought FC 24. Like I'm not going to just quit in the middle. Um, I'm already like I've started saving for Team of the Year. And it's like, okay, I'm going to play until Team of the Year no matter what. And even after Team of the Year, I know for a fact now that I've got the game, there's no way that I'm not going to play the game. But it's like, I don't know how I'm going to play FC 24 when... I just can't be bothered. I can't be bothered to get good at this game. Can't be bothered to abuse all these like broken mechanics. I can't be bothered to just even play the the thing that everyone does is play Ultimate Team for rewards. That that's the thing. Like no one plays the game because they enjoy the game. They play for rewards. I, I can't even be bothered to get rewards. Got the battle pass today, so I've got V Bucks saved up uh, to get the goat. Who who's the who's the goat in Fortnite? All oh, right, just look, even doing SVCs, it's like I know I'm doing these SVCs because in the long run, these are going to be worth it when Team of the Air comes around. And look, am I going to pack anything from a what, what pack is this even like a 75 times three? Am I going to pack anything from 175 times threes? Probably not, but it's just more packs. Like I know this is going to be worth it in the long run, but I can't be, be I can't even be bothered to do this. It's just such a boring thing. Eminem, the rap goat. Um, are you, well, like, why, why would you buy a skin? Like, I think I've seen screenshots of it and it just, just looks a bit, I don't know. There's better things to spend your V-Bucks on. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, speaking of spending your money, I saw everyone, um, everyone was posting about, posting about FIFA points on Twitter. And apparently if you bought certain store packs, then pretty much everyone got refunded that because... The pack said tradable, but you got an untradable pack. Um, so they gave FIFA points to, to loads of people. Uh, when this Fortnite season ends, have no other games to play. Uh, Fortnite going to be dead? Well, you never know. Look, I I think Fortnite can obviously see that look, people are enjoying this season. And I feel like maybe they'll... they'll 
they'll keep some things. I don't know what it is. Like, I know a lot of people say the art style. And um, and that's one of the reasons, like, people like OG Fortnite so much. So maybe they'll, maybe they'll like, keep the art style. Or maybe not keep it, but have it, like, a bit more similar than Chapter 2, Chapter 3, and Chapter 4. Maybe they will... I don't know. The the weapon pool, that's one thing that everyone is talking about, like how weapons are just so much better this chapter or this season. Uh, and in previous chapters, they've just been all over the place and uh, kind of you, you just get the most random weapons. Like we were speaking about this a few weeks ago. Um, and there's just like a lot to learn when right now it's, just, it's, it's literally basic. It's like normal AR, normal um, this, normal that, like just just base weapon. No like complex names like uh, Jonesy's. I don't even know, Jonesy's shotgun or... I don't know, there they was like some of the most random names. Like they had a character and then they had like the the most random like adjective and then the name of the gun. And I, I couldn't even keep track. I was like, there's like 10 ARs in the game. I don't know which one's good. Um, I don't know which one would suit my style of play. And it's like, I, I was just getting so confused. So the, the simplicity of the weapons, maybe they'll like make the loot pool a lot smaller. Maybe they'll bring back a lot of fun items. I know another thing someone said, I don't know if this is like something that they changed, is even the weapons, just having, uh, not weapons, one thing, even the vehicles, just having like a million vehicles around the map um, that were like realistic cars was just kind of a bit boring. I like the the interesting vehicles. You've got the, the golf car, you've got the, um, what's it called? The AT, ATV, you've got the shopping carts. Like have some silly items that, let's be honest, no one's using to go around the the map in a shopping cart people just use it to have fun and then have like just interesting looking vehicles best rapper of all time <laughs> i'm hyped for chapter five i don't know I'm, I'm hearing a lot of people say oh chapter five is going to be so bad and once chapter once og season is over like everyone's going to stop playing but i'm like you know what look, i'll give it a chance so i when chapter two came i was i was hyped at the beginning and then i was like oh this is kind of dead but i still gave it a chance and i feel like the first half was very good same with chapter three i was like i'll give it a chance i feel like i kind of died off like halfway through that season as well and then chapter four i played like one season i really really didn't enjoy it and then uh, even even like the seasons after that like i still played just not a lot like when my friends were going on i'd be like okay i'll i'll join for like a few games a season it's like Give it a try. If it's terrible, then okay, we're gonna have to find a new game. If it's good, then I don't know. I I have hope that it's gonna it's not gonna be too bad. Yeah, I I need to find some new games. I might. Look, I I've said this like a billion times, but I was playing Dark Souls when I stopped playing FIFA and FC, like in between when I wasn't streaming, and I was enjoying that. The problem was like obviously I wasn't great at it. It's my first ever Dark Souls game. Uh, how many hours have I put in that? 25 hours. I feel like that's like halfway through the game. And it's like, ah, oh, putting another 25 hours of pain. Like it's enjoyable, but there's a lot of things that I was like, oh, I thought I thought I'd enjoy it like a tiny bit more. The boss fights are amazing. I, I just love fighting the bosses. But apart from the bosses, like walking between the areas, um, like to get to the next boss, I just find that so boring. Um, yeah, I, I can start playing Dark Souls again. Mm. And look, I've, I've shown you guys like my full list of like 500 games that I've got downloaded or not downloaded in the library. Um, so I've, I've, I have got games to play. I just need to stop playing FC and spend more time on games that I know that I will enjoy. Half an hour till content. All right, we're nearly done with these Centauran upgrades. I don't know. Once we're done, I don't know if I should start doing the other upgrades now. Everyone's so good at Fortnite. Um two people sweating in pubs you know you're, you're talking about people being too good at fortnite you know oh my god when we were doing 1v1s it was like okay i know i'm bad i know i'm probably gonna lose to you guys and then i played against you guys and i was like okay yeah yeah i i knew i was bad but i didn't realize i was this bad uh was there what's going on how you doing um i can i think i think you are you're part of the sweats that you're hating on I've got something in my eye. I'm good myself, yeah, but can't have fun in normal matches. I get that. I didn't like um I, I disagree with the argument that some people give that like, oh, when you're good at the game, um, and you're like, oh, you just want a casual mode, then people say, Oh, you just want like bad players to come up again. Oh, 
my god, I did that again. Uh, you just want to play against bad opponents and just end up beating them. And it's like, no, you just you, you don't want to just come up against bad opponents. You want a mix. You want some good opponents. You want some bad opponents. You want it just to be like not a sweat that every single game you're coming up against people on your level or better. Uh, Habibi, what's your squad saying? My squad's not great right now. I'm still I'm still trying to improve it, but this is what the squad's looking like. I have um I have come up with a few ideas on changing this. So, uh, let me see. Did I did I make the squad? Yeah, it's gonna. I know it, it kind of looks a bit weird, but it's gonna look something like this. Apparently, Romero's getting an SVC card, and I'm like, no matter what, I'm getting this Romero card. Uh, obviously, this is his inform, not his SVC card. Then the thing is, I I did Blanc for like 500k or something. I did Ledley King for like 400k or something, and it's like there's no way that I'm not putting them in my team. But then at the same time, I need to get Romero in my team. So, so I'm going to play Blanc as a CDM. Obviously, he only has a center back in cam position, uh, but I'll switch him to CDM in game. And then this backer card. Again, I spent like 160k on her, not used her yet. So this is what I'm kind of thinking of. And then I'll probably put De Maria back. And then I just need a CDM that will play as a center mid in game. So I know it's, it's a terrible team. I'm so annoyed. I didn't take Witzel. When, when I reached level, what level was it, 19, uh, I was like, I've got no idea who to choose. So I just randomly picked one and it ended up being Karsdorp. And now I'm like, well, it still wouldn't have been bad here. Like, obviously 30 chem isn't isn't crazy, um, but 30 chem would have been okay. Now I'm like, I think the only, the, like, I, I was searching for so long, finding the best players to go for. I think the best player that would fit my play style and my team and my chemistry would probably be Lam. 32 chem. Uh, only play off can will be Di Maria. I really like Di Maria. I really like Depay. I feel like taking out Son for Griezmann is like kind of similar. Obviously, the weak foot is going to be a bit of an issue. Um, but I feel like they're they're quite similar cards. This is like such a such a weird random team. Like you're going to come up against this and you're going to be like, what am I seeing? But yeah, in game, <laughs> in game, I'm going to play it something like uh, what do I even use in game? Four three two one. In game, it's gonna look like oh, this is this is such a weird team. But it's gonna look like this. Gonna play Blanc as a center mid. I don't know Blanc, uh, Lidley King, or Romero. One of them is gonna be a center mid, but I really want to put all three of them in my team. And I don't. I, I'm not gonna play a three back or a five back. So it's like, I've, I've spent my coins on these two. There's no way that they're leaving my team. I don't know, maybe I just don't get Romero done. We'll need to see when his SVC dump does come out. We'll need to see how good the card is. Um, but we, we might we might just end up doing this. And then finding another player to play as a centre mid. But I, I'm, I'm looking at the Lam card and I'm like, this could be a card that I get. Possibly. Yeah, that's that's what the team's looking like. I went on some, some long thing just to explain what my team's going to be. <laughs> Uh, Rice, um, Case, wait, Case, who's Case? Um, Rice, I think he, he's got a Trailblazer card, doesn't he? But that was, uh, that was an SBC. Um, and I'm not, I'm not going to use, like, the normal 85 rated Rice. Yeah, he was an SBC. Oh, Casemiro. Uh, Casemiro's card just doesn't look that good. I don't think he's got a special card. Casemiro. Yeah, 63 pace. Like, I'm, I'm probably not going to. I'd say I'm average at Fortnite, maybe below. McCann, I'm telling you, you're not, you're not average. You're not average at all. <laughs> After playing you, look, I, I thought I was average. Like... There's a lot of there's a lot of people that play Fortnite, let me just say that. And there's a lot of casual players. Um I'm sure look, if you go on like Fortnite Tracker or something and you I, I don't I don't even know what you'd look at. I'm sure there's some stat that you can see like that will compare you to other people. Casemiro already wants to leave United after one season and we spent 70 more. Yeah, he's... I don't know. I, I, I used to like him. 
um obviously if he's going to a premier league club i'm like okay maybe i maybe i can't like him anymore <laughs> um but yeah i i used to think he was really good i don't know what's going on at united like um he just doesn't fit the system um just doesn't play to his strengths i guess you know i i wouldn't mind i wouldn't mind getting casemiro you can you can sell him to us Yo, that would be that would be crazy getting Casemiro in our team. I feel like he he'd definitely be too too slow for our team, but he's good at passing, so um I don't know, that kind of that kind of fits Ange play style, the passing. Take me back to old season. <laughs> which which old season? Last one was last season. Was was that even that good? Um, M H M D Zaza, what's going on? No way, bro. It's been like six months since the last time I enjoyed. It's good to see you in the stream. Yo, uh, my my fall off has been crazy. How have you been? I've been I've been good. How have you been? Just grinding FC as boring as it can be. I'm I'm still grinding. Yeah, I did. I did take a short break um, between uh, between FIFA twenty three and FC twenty four. Uh, good, but where where I live, it's kind of scary. So yeah, where do you live? If you don't mind, if you don't mind me asking. All right, how many of these do I have left? Four more, and then I'm done. I live in Palestine. Oh no, yeah, that's I. I don't even know what to say. I um, I hope you're safe. Obviously, um, I don't. I don't even know. Talking about it on Twitch is like look, talking about that situation on on any social media is like uh, it's. You have to be careful what you say because I don't know. Some people will get offended, but I, I will. I'll pray for you. Hopefully, you're doing good. But yeah, it's 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 not looking good. I don't. I don't even know what to say. I don't think I've spoken to uh, to someone that that's living. Wait, are you living there right now? Um, because yeah, I don't. I don't think I've ever spoken to someone that's living there. Hope you and your family are all good. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. I think it's it's terrible what's going on, and obviously, look, the media are saying certain stuff, and I do not agree with like well, like half of the media. Um. But yeah, it's 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 not great. I do, yeah. Hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully um you're able to like I don't know, just survive. Um be able to like have shelter, have food. Um because yeah, it's 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 scary. It is. I don't know if this is like a like a okay question, but like, are you are you keeping yourself distracted? Um, just I don't know. I don't know what you can do in that situation. It's a horrible situation to be in. Um, Mando, I know I know a lot of um, like Celtic fans are like really supportive to Palestine, and that's that's really good because uh, most clubs and most um, most like teams most nations are like yeah we don't want to talk about this situation but i feel like celtic fans they're like really really good at, with that like even i can't remember what i heard but it's like they were like they were told the fans were told to like not say anything or not do anything and they were still like supporting them and being like yeah we stand with them yeah i support palestine yeah, it's, it, it's, it's really good when like I've seen videos of Celtic fans and I'm like, yo, you know what, maybe maybe Celtic are, are good. Like, you don't see other teams doing that. But yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to see. And it's good, you know what, look, like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you, you never saw like this many people talking about them and um, this many people like supporting them. So it's good, but it's like support. Support is really good, but I'm um, I'm like, what else can you do apart from support? The Celtic board told Celtic fans not to fly Palestinian flags, but we didn't listen. Yeah, it was like I've I've seen like clips of it. 
but yeah, it's it's nice to see like people are kind of like realizing you still like what when you go on Twitter, you still see people being like, um, like saying, "Oh, um, Israel are the the victims," and it's like they just like the people that are saying that just don't understand the situation. Uh, all you got to say is Alhamdulillah for everything. Yeah, exactly. It's also bad that people that fly Israeli flags don't get fined, but people that fly Palestinian fa- Palestinian flags get fined. It's it's so so weird. Like I I really don't understand when things like the Premier League are like, oh, we can't get involved, and then you see someone like exactly like they stand they stand with Palestine, and then they get like criticized, and they're like, no, you can't do that, and then you get people like standing with Israel, and then they're just quiet like no one says anything um i like you know you know it was so weird when we signed solomon i was like look i guess i guess it's a player like he hasn't done anything he hasn't said anything and then after you find out no he is supporting them and it's like okay like just because you're from israel it doesn't mean it doesn't mean you're like supporting the government and then he i'm sure he like posted on instagram and it's like no no come on look please please don't say you support them and then obviously nothing gets said about him uh do you know everything i say on my phone is being watched by the government because of what i did on a certain app i didn't know that you even find sort of flying those flags but other clubs were flying israeli flags and didn't get fined it's so so disgusting just went full force and now my phone is being watched yo that's that's crazy what that's yeah I, I don't what did you what did you do you said because of what i did on a certain app that's so just i don't even know sort of been supporting palestine for a long while yeah you know i um i did even even like before you were talking about celtic i'm pretty sure i did see like like i used to see it from from quite a while ago as well that's not the question the question is what didn't i do <laughs> Yeah, that's that's so scary. It's oh my god. I don't I don't even know what you would do in that situation. But yeah, I guess just um look, you you're going to you're going to speak the truth and like people aren't going to like it, right? Um all right, I finally finished the whatever you call it. The milestone. Yeah, you say the truth and and people will say that you're you're anti-Semitic. I don't even know. It shows that UEFA are taking sides, which they shouldn't. You know what's like so so dumb? Um, what's his name? Zinchenko. It's like, oh my god, it's so 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 frustrating. Like he's supporting Israel, and it's like you like the, literally the country that you're from are in the exact situation, but the opposite. You were you're from Ukraine. You should know what it's like being on that side, yet you're standing with um Israel and it's like, oh my god, how can you be that silly? Like you're you're fighting against Russia, your your country's complaining that Russia's like taking over your land, and it's like the exact same thing is happening, yet how can you be that like silly that you don't see what's going on? Uh bro get anonymous calls from no caller ID, random messages from M- McCown. Um, that's the that's the name of it. Israel wins. Yo, that's that's so scary. I don't I don't even know what to say. Just just stay safe. Just make sure make sure you're careful with everything you're doing because that like I don't I don't even know what I'd do if I was in that situation. Exactly. So dumb. Oh my god, it's it's such a weird thing to talk about. Like, um, just talking about it on social media like streaming i know i'm not getting like views and no one's gonna no one's gonna do anything but still you never know with these like companies if you're if you're speaking in support of palestine um i'm sure i'm sure something can go wrong uh what's going on uh kr june thank you so much for the follow hello from south korea how you doing how um my alerts i i, I didn't hear my alerts when you follow that was quite strange uh but how you doing um oh yeah early on i completely forgot to go over the the season progress we got some more packs um you know this this season doesn't look too bad the packs that you get we've also got a current israeli player right now i don't know what's going to happen with his future 
Yeah, it's like I I guess he can't speak when the whole fan base is kind of against him. Well not against him, but against his country. He can't really like speak about anything then. But the thing is, like a lot of Tottenham fans are Jewish, so it's like um I guess I guess Solomon kind of can. Um yeah, it's it's such a weird situation. Um anyway, like the, the season pass. We can we can talk about FIFA, right? <laughs> have a have a, a nicer topic. I don't know. It's it's like we need to talk about those sort of, sort of stuff. But it's just a bit. I don't know. I I wanna like distract myself from like uh, political stuff when playing FIFA. But yeah, anyway, FIFA <laughs> level five rewards look alright. Um, level ten rewards. What do you guys? What are you gonna guys gonna go for? I think I'd go for the eighty four times four. The player pick's good, but obviously you want four players. The the road to the knockout trailblazer just looks like such bad value. 84 times 3 is good. 82 times 2. 83 times 20 for level 15. That's crazy. That's really, really good. Gonna say that for Team of the Year, of course. 83 times 3. 83 times 3. Base hero or an 87 times 2. Honestly, I think I'd go for the 87 times 2. I don't even know. When we get there, you guys are probably going to convince me to do the base hero, but... I think I'll just take fodder. If I'm saving packs, I guess if I pick the hero pack, I, I'd open it straight away. But if I'm trying to save packs, I guess the 87 times 2 would be better. 83 times 10 is really good. 82 times 2. And then for level 25, again, I think I'll just go for more plays. 83 times 20. Uh, from an 83 times 20, could I get 387s? I think I could. This is just 100% not good value. Um... I forgot to tell you today we had a cup final. Gonna give you um wait. I'm gonna give you for uh for options what happened in the game and who won, but I'm gonna have uh, you predict who won first. Wait, who who is this between? By the way, Celtic controllers were banned for going to games, home and away. Oh no. Uh is this the team Kang in Lee plays for? Um What team does he play for? I I don't know. Um oh he played oh he plays for PSG. Um wait, is what the team that he played for? Just letting you know, a place in the back. Um and I'm the captain of the team. Wait, 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 what is this? Uh let me read that again. I've got to tell you, we had a cup final. I'm gonna give you for options of what happened in the game and who won. I'm gonna have you predict who won first. Uh I'm gonna guess that. You won? Don't exactly know what you're asking. Kang, uh, Kang and Lee plays for PSG? Yeah, I, I, I just saw. Um, I've definitely seen him before. I just completely forgot. Yes, you did win. That is good. Um... That is good. Wait, I, I'm still, I'm still confused. Wait, what do you want me to predict? That just whether you won or not. All right, how long? Nine minutes till content. Uh, we're sitting on two hundred and seventy-nine packs. I feel like that's that. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm gonna obviously get some more packs. Just grinding upgrades, right? Uh, there's an eighty-five plus upgrade. I could get that done. These 81 doubles, I don't know how many of these I should do. Uh, but the best thing about it is that I didn't take uh didn't take home domination trophy and the gold medal. I took him I took him in another three cups. Wait, what? Uh I'm gonna let you guess why I took them and what are they for? Honestly, I've got no clue. I've got no clue. <laughs> I'm I packed in Baffer, by the way. Okay. Okay, I, I, I did I did see your, your Discord thing and I did hear McCann say it and then I'm pretty sure you mentioned it as well. Oh my god, how 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 long are you gonna be talking about your Mbappe? Hopefully I pack like team with the air Mbappe, so then so then I can I can continuously tell that tell you that he should get team with the air, right? Um let me see how much is this eighty one double? I don't know what SBCs to do. Like, I don't have a lot of coins, but 81 double is 7k. The 85 plus is 17k. So I 
I guess this 85 double is quite good value. I should probably get these done. Maybe when I have a few more coins. This is another team of the season Neymar incident, by the way. Oh, God, not this again. I got man of the match. I was best defender of the tournament cup. And the last one is for the team of the tournament. Best player. Um, oh, you got a trophy for you got a trophy for each one. That's quite cool. That's that's really cool. I don't I don't know if I've ever done a, a football tournament before. Not with a cup. No one cares. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, look, look. Okay, you got you got lucky in one pack. No one else has your lights. Like EA obviously favor you. <laughs> Um, you don't have to. You don't have to rub it in that you've packed Mbappe. Uh, do you know why I took all of that? Because I was dominating the other team that were playing against us, and we went on a streak of ten games, a clean sheet. And in the last game, uh, we can see the two goals. We were to nail down, and then I came in and scored two goals and assisted one. Wow. Wait. So <laughs> I'm still wait. I'm still so confused. So you got you got three trophies. Man of the match, best defender, and for winning the tour uh, for winning the tournament. Oh, okay. I think I think I get. It. I'm I'm a bit confused, but I think I think I understand. Um. Actually, can we get one of these eighty five? At least one of them done before content. Okay. Um. Oh my god, yeah, we, we don't have any cards in the club. I've got an 82, I've got an 83. You know what, the more packs I get, the better, right? When does Team of the S start again? It's in a while, it's in a very long while, like probably two and a bit months. It's going to be end of January, so a very, very long time. Maybe maybe some people will think that I'm saving a bit too early. Uh, but yeah, two and a half months, that's probably when it's going to be. Um, I'm also... How much are these cards? Um... I need 182, the rest 83s. You'll have 82s gone up or something. I'll pay the 900 then. I guess fodder's gone up already. Uh, oh my god, eighty three is up as well. I really don't have the coins to be doing this, but who cares, right? I'm gonna have a few more coins after foot champs. Pay one point seven for that. One point seven for him. Four more minutes than six PM content is out. Um Okay, oh yes, wow, it's quite expensive. Uh who else can I use? One point eight. I guess uh Lacazette and Jorginho will use. Okay, I am down to like nearly twenty K right now. As soon as I buy these players. One point eight, one point seven. Alright, we'll pay one point eight. Um All right, there we go. Okay, we did an 85 plus. Obviously not going to open it right now. Uh, but that's another pack for the Team of the Air grind. I have no coins right now. Why am I spending like 20k on an SVC? I don't know. Um, really, EA had no content to release and they decided to release a best of Team of the Week. Uh, that is drier than the Sahara Desert. Uh, well, there's, there's going to be content every day. 
How much have you played in a football tournament? I'm sure I have. Yeah, I've, I've definitely played in football tournaments. Uh, you're saving earlier than last year, and last year you were struggling to open them all. Wait, when when did I start saving last year? I'm going to have to check. <laughs> I feel like it was around this time, wasn't it? Like November. Um... Um, when did I save last year? It must have been early because I remember the, the World Cup promo started in November and I was saving at some point during the World Cup. Um, that's when I started. You know what the worst thing when I was fly tackling the ground wasn't even real grass. So my legs are hurting really bad. Oh no, going to see the same message for a while. Needed to reply. <laughs> best of is the content today. I believe so. One minute till content. So there's going to be a best of Centurion, best of Trailblazer, best of Road to the Knockouts in packs, as well as best of Team of the Week, as well as tomorrow getting the uh, Thunderstruck and Thunderstruck icons. So there's going to be so many things in packs. I did find it a bit weird that EA compensated those FIFA points earlier on today because that just means, okay, people are going to get free packs uh, on Friday. Or maybe EA will release Summit today that will get people opening packs and then tomorrow when they release the Thunderstrucks, people will just open even more packs. Um, yeah, we... Um, we can... I think we can open... Yeah, we can open a preview pack in a minute. Won't need to play since I packed the best player in the game. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think today will be non-tent. No, we're definitely going to get something, and it won't. Uh, and I won't pack any promo card. Uh, we'll see. Uh, you had over a thousand last year, and you already got two hundred eighty. You're going to have more than a thousand easily. Well, f I hope I get more than a thousand packs. But last year, I only had a thousand packs after doing the um, recycles. Right? I think right at the start of the year. I can actually check. Um, because I've, I've put all, all my VODs that are on YouTube. Uh, YouTube channel, videos. Uh, where, oh my god, how far would I even need to scroll? When was it? Team of the Year, end of January. So that would be January 2023. Let me see. How many packs did I have? Uh... Full team of the years here, 26th of January. I had. Uh, I had. Do I show my packs at all? I should probably put this on stream as well. Yo, Hakimi first pack. Uh, right at the start. Yo, I can't find it. 617 packs. So during team of the year, I crafted about 400 packs. It was a bit less than a thousand. I say a thousand every time I. I say how many packs I opened. It was probably like 900 packs. Yeah, I started off with 620 packs. And yeah, you know what? I will I will definitely have more than that this year. Uh bro, even though you packed uh even though you packed in Mbappe, um I can still in wait, I can still enfold you up. Wait, what? Um I didn't pack Mbappe, Wondo did. Um Div 10 pack luck. <laughs> 6 p.m. All right, let's have a look what EA have released. Okay, always checking the SVCs first. Oh my god, I I saw someone tweet this earlier. So yesterday, the daily login upgrade required 11 bronzes. At some point today, they changed it to one bronze. And I'm like, when the day when the daily lo login came out yesterday, I was like, wait, 11 bronzes. This is more than usual. Usually it's like one. Sometimes they even do three. But I'm like, why are they requiring 11? Then they changed it to one. And it's like, okay, I submitted 10 bronzes extra. Big deal. Who cares? But look, in the long run, it is a big deal. I could do 11 daily upgrades with the players I submitted. All of them are gone. And it's like EA aren't going to compensate that. But yeah, EA at some point today, earlier on, they changed it. So if you ended up, up doing the daily login when it got released, you ended up overpaying. Uh, but the daily login is back, of course. Uh, right, player, SBCs, what is new? Did we get anything? Have EA given us anything? I doubt there'll be any like big SBCs, right? Yeah, no new SBCs unless I've missed something. Daily login is there. 85 upgrade, you can do it three more times. This thing, you can do it one more time. The Road to the Knockout or Trailblazer. You know what, I will favour that. Oh, I did see something nice. I did see something very nice. An 83 times 10. You can do it three times a day. Three times a day. How much is this going to cost? No way. No way. No way. 83 rated with a team of the week. 
Oh, 83s to the moon. Oh my god, this is one of the best value SBCs I've ever seen. Okay, favorite that. You can do three times a day for the next seven days. This is crazy good value. Oh my god, 83s are going to go so, so high in price. I'm guessing, look, if you have any in your club, they're going to probably go to like 3, 4k. I, that's just a guess, but you never know. Solo to squad upgrade. We got another SBC. 85, oh wait. 85 rated or higher. One player. And what do you get? Earn a pack container, 11 gold players, 10 common, 1 rare. You know what, this isn't, this isn't that bad value. Weirdly, this isn't bad value. An 85 right now is going for about 7k. So for 7k, you're getting 11 golds. I don't think that's that bad. This is really, really good. Okay, we got some very interesting upgrades. And then we got Black Friday Challenge 1. We'll favorite that and marquee matchups yo there's just there's so much content right now okay okay there's a lot upgrades daily login favorite 85 plus will favorite 81 double will favorite 83 times 10 will favorite solo to squad this actually seems good like it, at first i thought it was terrible value it might actually be really good okay that's a lot uh vest vest event objective rashi 88 impacts need him asap no i wasn't talking about you i was talking about him um wait who are you talking about <laughs> Uh, want to watch my hero pack? Yeah, send an invite. Send an invite. We'll look at that. Yo, the, the content. The content is good. Okay, we'll look at um any objectives that came out. Uh, oh yeah, the, these two kits. There was a winter sweater home kit, winter sweater away kit. Uh, I don't know how to get the kits. Hopefully they've been released. I'm guessing they're going to be in the store or something. Where are the objectives? I don't know. I don't know why sometimes they just don't show it for me. Um, oh, you're talking to Mondo. Opening all my huge um, 10 save packs today. Yo, it's tempting to open packs, but wait till tomorrow. If you're going to open packs for this promo, wait till tomorrow. Like, are you going to get a Thunderstruck? Probably not, but just increase your chances of getting something. Uh, all right, so Champions Pro will get done. Yeah, where's the objective that you were saying? Oh, here it is, Vestaben. Oh, this is just, this is just kits. Okay. Give me 10 minutes. Yeah, that is all right. Um, all right, yeah, EA released a lot and prices are going to go up and I have no coins, which is not good. Uh, okay, there's a global limit pack. Um, includes 35 rare gold player items with two guaranteed to be 85 or higher. Okay, this is just lightning rounds. Uh, promo packs. Oh my god, what is this? Includes two hero player items rated 86 or higher. Also 20 rare gold player items. All items are untradeable. We got... Oh my god, why? There's just so many packs. Okay, we'll open our 10 coin pack. This is like the one good value pack right now. Um, French striker. Not Mbappe, of course. Um... Right. Um, yeah, so EA, they released a double icon pack yesterday. And now they've released a double hero pack. 350k. Uh, where's, what's the icon pack? What's this? 85k pack? Includes one row to the knockout, 12 blazer, or centauro. Not including icons. Uh, player item, one of two. It's a player pick. Oh, okay. Yeah, so for 450k... Um, you're getting 10 rare golds, but they're icons, and this one, no way, 86 or higher, this is terrible value. Yo, yo, this is, this is so bad, 86 or higher, you're paying two, you're paying 350k for two heroes rated eight. oh wait, wait, I can't read properly, 86 or higher, never mind, I thought it was saying 86 as a max, um, this one has a max, okay, this is rated up to 88. This one, 86 or higher. I, I can't think right now. Um, okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Going to open the preview pack and uh, we're not going to get anything. Global limit packs are back. Yeah, it's just, it's it's lightning rounds, isn't it? It's the same, the same thing. All my all my nine packs were all four. Did the RTTK Trailblazer pack or Marquinhos? I guess that's quite good. Rose said 86. Um, 
86 Rahaf. Wait, what? Um, Rahaf, yeah, five times. And then said it's bad value. It's still bad value. It is very bad value. So get a look what's going on. Any good content? We actually got quite a lot of content today. Um, the problem is I have no coins, so... Yeah, we're gonna have a we're gonna have some trouble completing stuff. Uh, I still have a few eighty sevens and eighty fives. Um, eighty six or higher. Yeah, yeah, I I don't know why I was I was thinking max eighty six, but it's still it's still terrible value. Okay, there we've got the uh, best stuff on the screen: Haaland, De Bruyne, Mbappe, Hansen, Saka, Osimhen, Pop, Bruno Fernandez, Musiala, Smith, Shao Cancelo, Benucci, Rashford. Ronaldo, Leao, Wood Prowse, Kalulu, Mendy. That's a really good best stuff in packs. A lot of cards in packs. Yeah, so in terms of SBCs, we got some really, really good content. 83 times 10. And oh my god, every time I favorite something, it just somehow disappears. What was it? The solo to squad. And it's unlimited repeater as well, which is crazy. Surely, surely that's insane value, no? The solo to squad. If 85 stay the same price. Because look, 11 gold players. If you're going to buy them off the market, what's that? Like 6k? 10 commons, 1 rare. That's like 6k. And 85s right now are going for 7k. So you're losing 1k each time. But if you get anything higher than an 83, then you're you're making profit, right? I don't even know. Um, Where did you get like... Wait, where did you get, like, Yaya Torre Ramirez? Um, where did I get them? I don't have them. I bought Gold Hansen, which is insane. El Content, mid W. 184, 983s uh, from an 83 times 10. Yeah, but can't you just submit all of that back into the 83 times 10? With no problem. And you can you can even put in some 82s in there as well. You can put the 983s and then 282s and you've just made an 84 as profit. Right? Now because I don't have any Team of the Weeks now. Oh, it requires Team of the Weeks. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a problem then. Team of the Weeks still 30k. I don't actually know. We can check. Oh, Team of the Weeks are going to... No, I don't even know what am I what am I seeing? What is this? What? Okay. I can't even back out of this. I can't even exit. Um alright, gold team of the week. Let's see. Oh my god, I think they've can't do anything. I can't click the back button. <laughs> yeah, this game, this game's a mess. Yo, uh, I got to go see you around, brother. Hopefully not in six months. All right, have a good rest of your day. And then stay safe as well. All right, are oh, the menus going to be fixed now? Team of the weeks. 30k. Yeah, they're more than 30k. Oh my god, menus don't be slow. Yeah, these menus are so messed up. Yeah, I think they're like, I think they might be 40k. Hmm, yeah. Uh, Alright, let's see if 85s have gone up. I, I guess the packs are just out, so I can't really expect them to be up that much. Um, Are they up? There was one for 7.9 there. Let's look at Trippier, because I think I've got quite a few of his cards. Okay, what am I doing? Um, uh, my god, menus are so, so slow. I'm, I can't do what I want to do. 
Okay, 85s haven't gone up too much yet. I think they will go up, hopefully. 7.1k right now. Maybe even 7k. Okay, I guess they're not going up. Um, let's do our daily login. What is there to do? There's so much content right now. I don't know what to even start with. All right, we get a gold pack and we get whatever the daily login reward is for today. Okay, 85 plus pack requiring an 83 squad. This is good value. Okay, we definitely keep this. 81 double, we'll keep it. Whenever we get rares, we'll end up doing that. 83 times 10. Now, I was saying this is like crazy, crazy good value. Now you're saying, okay, you need a team of the week and team of the week's up right now. Maybe this isn't as good value as I thought. I'll look on Footman, what that I saying? Ah, oh, I don't know why my cat keeps going in and out of the room. Uh, all right, Footbin is saying that the SBC costs 45k. I think, it, I think it's a bit more than that, right? If informs are up. How much does this Footbin saying informs cost? Uh, that's with informs being at 35k. Okay, so if informs are 35k, this costs 45k. And you are getting back... You're getting back guaranteed 19k worth of cards. Is that good? If I had more coins, if I had like 2 million coins, I would do every single one of these upgrade packs. Every single 83 times 10, every single 85 plus. I'd do this like solo squad, solo to squad one so many times. But I've got 20k. That's the problem. Like, I'm not saying these are good value, but I'm like, just for the sake of getting packs in my club and just get more and more store packs. I feel like these are these are okay. Like you're most likely going to lose out, but I still think it's good. Not not that it's good. I think you're going to lose out, but just for the sake of having packs and having the chance of getting something, it's good. Cuz if you do get like an 86 in the pack in the 83 times 10, if you get an 86, I guess that pays for like half the pack. Got an 88 and an 87 in the 83 times 10. Yeah, look, in that case, it's such, such good value. If you've got the coins, definitely get these done. But three times a day, informs are going to go extremely high in price. I guess they've got the best of impacts and people are going to be opening a crazy amount of packs. So the supply will go up, but it's most likely going to be untradeable supply, right? Ah, it's so, it's so annoying. I just need coins. If 85s can go up, that would be nice. If 85s don't go up, do I just put them all into this as so low to squad? Nah, it's, this one is honestly like really, really not bad value, but it's just there's no way of you getting something good in this. For coins, you're barely losing anything, but just the chance of you getting something good in this is so low. I'm just thinking you'd need to get like an 83 in every single pack for it to be good. 83 times 10 is good value. I think it is. Like, you're, you're most likely going to lose out. But I think I think it, I would complete this if I had the coins. Uh, so good for completing Salah. It could be. It could be good. Can't link my Marquinhos. Have no league gun players. Rip. Um, are there any good, like, cheap league gun players or Brazilian players? I don't know. I, I'm I'm sure you can link him. Like, get a well, get one icon in your team, a Brazilian league and manager, and he's on two cams, right? Yeah, I'm I'm sure there's like some really good. Oh, get um, what's it called? Uh, what's his name? Thalvin, 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 sixty k. He's got a crazy card, right mid. Potential to get even more upgrades. Um, no playstyle plus, but he's got finesse shot, power shot, whip pass, technical flair, first touch. So I'm like, he's got he's got a really good card. I was thinking of putting him on my team. I think he might work instead of Di Maria. And he's got he's got four more pace, three more shooting, seven less passing, five less dribbling. So the dribbling and passing is significantly worse, but pace and shooting is better. He's got more physical, more defending. I think he's got worse. Skill moves and worse. Oh no, same weak foot. 
I was I was really tempted to get this Thalvin card with 60k and like I don't really want to spend it when I can get this card for 30. If I had Mbappe, let him undo. <laughs> Brother and broke like you. Um yeah, I guess I guess that's not good. Finally got VVD, game changer. Yo, that's crazy. Uh can get someone like Klaus, hate walk at right back. I actually like Walker. He's still on my bench as a super sub. I don't really bring him on, but if I need a centre back, then he's a replacement. I usually would use, I'd use like Neville, Karsdorp and Backer as either fullbacks or centre mids. Well, one thing I, I do, like every fullback that I have, I make sure that they have good enough stats to play centre mid, especially for the bench. I think any of these guys can play um, fullback or centre mid. And then these three in the attack, it's really not a good bench. <laughs> it's really not a great bench, but like Walker, I, I feel like he's usable. This team just looks so, so outdated. Like, if I came up against this team, I'd be like, you know what? Defense, really good. Midfield and attack just looks so, so bad. Like, in-game, Dimmer is really good. But when you come up against him, it's just like, it's not even a threat. Madison, 77 pace, just no threat. Bellingham and De Jong, like, ugh, they've got good cards. For golds, for a gold card, these two are good. Like, you're not going to have too many gold cards that are still usable at this point. But they're just average. Like, if I come up against them, it's just nothing crazy. Same with Son. It's like, look, he's a good card. Look at those returns. Like, nearly 300 re or over 300 returns in 200 games. It's a good card. But it's just not a, not a scary card. And then Depay, again, like, good returns on that card. But it's just like, no one's looking at my team and getting scared. Like, you can argue Blanc, King, Lorente, Hernandez. But, yeah, I, I need to get a meta team soon. Draw so good for me. Wish they changed the team of the week pick to just one 85 rated squad or 84. Yeah, I'm sure in the past it has been one squad. I do think that they made the um, the minimum rating higher. Like it's an 82 plus now. I think before it wasn't. But still two squads is, is so much. Because it's, it's pretty much the same price as their market value. Two squads. You need an 85, an 84, a full 83 squad and an 80 squ 82 squad. It is, it is not good. Let me see, team of the week. 32k for the SVC. And then... And then on the market, I believe they're going for... For 35, if I'm not wrong. Unless they've gone up even more by now. Alright, we got some packs. Um, Alright, we got... We got some FIFA points. Oh my god, why why are you spending FIFA points? Like I say this all the time. Do not spend FIFA points. One, it's terrible value. You can achieve the exact same thing by um not spending FIFA points. And two, you're just you're just incentivizing EA to carry on being a terrible company. But go ahead. If you're gonna open the pack, I might as well watch. Um, are you gonna, you're gonna share play? You, oh my god, you want me to be the one to spend the FIFA points, okay. Okay, I can't believe I'm, I'm gonna be making you spend FIFA points, but... I, I, I want this in writing, like, are you, are you telling me to open this pack? Are you telling me to open the, the hero pack? I need to make sure. I need you to say in chat. Yeah, open hero pack. Okay. All right. First ever hero pack that we're opening. Dynamic duo hero pack. Gonna spend FIFA points. I can't believe we're doing it, but it is on a share play. So we'll do that. English right mid. Is that McManaman? It is 87 rated McManaman. It's not a crazy card, but it's obviously gonna be a double walkout. Who is that? Oh, that's Marquez. This this is why I say don't spend FIFA points. Marquez and McManaman. What can I say? What can I say? Look at that pack. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I guess this hero pack isn't good value. Marquez, I'm guessing he's gonna be about 35k, 42k. You know what? Fair enough. And McManaman. He's going for about 40k as well. So 80k for that. 80k, not 80k for that. You're getting 80k worth of heroes. It's just, it's just not good value. But thank you for sharing. 
I appreciate it. We got to uh, we got to watch a double hero pack, and I'm I'm probably not gonna see that from anyone else, unless unless other people have FIFA points. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Definitely not. I don't know what to do. Like I I don't have a lot of coins, but I just want to get as many upgrade packs as I can get done with no coins. I don't know if I should just sell all the fodder that I have just to like get some coins. Uh, we do get another pack here. What pack did we just get? Jumbo premium gold pack. There is someone vacuuming outside. Uh, outside my room. Uh, we'll see. Oh my god. When I speak, you're going to hear the vacuum. Uh, we'll see how much 85s are going for now. They haven't gone up. If anything, they've gone down. 85s. Should I just put all my 85s into, into the pack then? I'm not sure. Let me check it again. 85 upgrade. No, not this one. What's it called? Solo. Solo to squad. It costs... It costs... Wait, why is it saying it costs 8k? It definitely doesn't cost 8k. Um, yeah, it costs, it costs about 6.8k. Well, that's, that's what we're saying on hook bin. Um, yeah, why? I don't know, it's getting a lot of uh, downfalls, but like I said, like, it, it's not a, an amazing pack. You're going to open it, you're going to get commons and a rare, but for the price, it's the same price as it would be if you're going to buy them off the market. I don't know, a lot of people are hating on this pack. I'm like, what? Well, it's not a pack. It's not a good pack, but you're not losing coins. Um, so you're either going to make exactly the coins back or you're going to want to gain coins, right? I don't know. A lot of people are saying this is like such a bad pack and this is an IQ test. I can't be the only one that's like, you're, you're not going to lose coins. It's pretty much impossible to lose coins. I don't know, maybe maybe it's just me. What's it called? Solo to squad. You submit an 85 rated, which is 7k or less. And you're getting 10 commons, which 10 commons is 5k. A rare is like a thousand coins. So that's 6k. And you're spending 7k. Okay, you're going to lose a thousand coins at worst. If you don't pack anything, you're losing a thousand coins. I don't know. Like You're, you're never going to pack anything good from it. But compared to some other packs, like people will spend a hundred k to get ten k worth of players. So to say this is bad value, I don't know. But yeah, you, you I guess you, it's impossible to get something good. It's, it's not impossible, but it's very, very, very unlikely. Um, yeah, interesting. SBCs, objectives, packs from EA. I guess. Look, yeah, let's let's be honest. It's not. It's not amazing. These three are the things we're probably going to try to get done uh, with my very, very few coins that I have. I'll probably, I'll try my best to sell my fodder uh, and see what I can do. The Makengos, I, I do feel like they can still go up. I do feel like they could go up to like 20k once the pro actually plays, which is going to be in quite some time. Group D games are in like December or something. Um, like maybe mid late, mid to late December. Yeah, we've got we've still got a lot of 86, uh, 85s in and 87s on the transfer list. We're going to have to get rid of them eventually. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be the end of the stream. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to have a huge, huge promo. I will actually be opening a few packs. Um, I'm still opening tradable packs. I've probably got about 20 tradable packs right here. Plus we're going to have foot champ qualifier packs. Plus we're going to have foot champ packs in a few days as well. So, well, this weekend we're going to open a few packs. Uh, but yeah, big, big promo coming up. Let's hope, let's hope it is not bad. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you go. Make sure you guys have a good rest of your day. Um, I need to get my qualifier games done.
and then play a few rival games as well. But yeah, hopefully that's not too much pain. All right, I'll be I'll be here tomorrow. All right, bye everyone.